I have a confession to make, and I don't think it will come to a surprise that people that actually watch my videos, or people that know me a bit better, uh, maybe on Discord, or if it's just like anything you're going with as well, but I feel like Battles has been getting worse. I think that has started around... Uh, I want to say around Sable Powers release, but if I'm honest, judging by the way uh, Battles content was taking shape, I feel like even before Sable Powers, when the first batch of powers came around, it already started becoming uh, less and less enjoyable to try and play this game, because uh, at least to many people, including me, it seemed like NK was going very heavily on the pay-to-win-money-oriented aspect on this game since powers were a huge crane to get to, and not having them, of course, put you at such a great disadvantage that you might as well not be playing the game. Uh, Turbo Moabs were stupidly strong, and the only way to defend them was with Spike Storm, and Spike Storm is a fourth tier power, which, you know, leaves a lot of people without ways to defend, giving advantages to the people that just bought the powers right away. Um, I feel like that might have been one of the first times that I was actually, like, getting really fed up with uh, the turn this game has been taking. However, I must say, before Powers came out, I already took like a solid six months break because just a complete lack of uh, content updates, really just killing my motivation to play and the overall uh, community and you know the people surrounding it really just taking a turn for the worse, becoming way more toxic uh, overall less and less fun to hang around with. Um, besides powers, you know, like, as much as I hate Sabo powers, as much as I hate eco powers, as much as I hate pretty much every power, um, I do have to say that when they work, and when they're, like, you know, not annoying to play against, uh, it's been one of the most fun games, like, one of the most fun times I've had in battles for uh, a very long time. But if I put those few and far between really enjoyable games to, well, against the fact that I basically have to force myself to play a game where the Cobra Tower can just ruin your entire day, Quickshot Team Tower stun is just completely nuts, Power Lock exists, uh, there's so many powers that just completely shut down any form of micro and any form of skill. Uh, eco powers just completely remove the need to properly manage your money and damage boosts and all the tower boosts are just free defense by the click of a button. That's just, it's not good. And I don't really know an easy way to go about fixing that since the powers are in the game. I'm certain people paid for them. People paid for the XP boosters because they were pretty much necessary to get. People paid for XP itself. People watch the advertisements that you get after matches to get double XP. And by removing powers, you're well you're either going to have to refund every person that bought something, or you're just going to have to find a really shitty middle ground where they're probably just going to hand out medallions. And I don't think that's a great idea at all. Powers they're just completely worked into a corner, if I'm honest. There's like nothing Nothing redeemable about it. There's nothing they can change to make it better, aside from very, very much trying to balance it. Which, so far, I think it's been incredibly unsuccessful. Every single patch, I fear that new powers will be added, and I'm going to have to deal with uh, a mega boost in normal battles, or uh, BTD6s or BTD5s placeable heroes, or pontoons, or whatever. Just completely screwing around with the game's balancing in a meta, which is already on such a thinly frail line uh, because of powers. In my opinion, the towers itself, they're fine. I think comparing them to what they were two years ago, maybe even before that, they are probably in the best state they've been in for a while. I would not change much about tower balancing. Even though people do say that the engineer needs to nerf and Cobra needs to be nerfed. If you play your cards correctly, you can play around it. If you play your cards correctly against a good power user, 
you're going to run out of options or ways to defend eventually. And you'll be just completely screwed. There's no way, nothing you can do at that point. If a person brings Thrower Blightness and Quickshot or whatever, that's six ways they can kill you, and you only have six ways to defend being three glow storms, three damage boost most of the time. And God may help you if you don't bring glow storm or monkey ass or lightning bolts with you, because at that point, you're just shot yourself in the foot. The moment you see them not bringing out an eco choke or not having a eco boost or track power, you're screwed. You know they're going to have cyber power, and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. You just have to sit there and just painfully wait your defeat or to hit the surrender button. Um, yeah, I mean, powers just really suck. Like, they drain a lot of the fun out of the game for me. Because my favorite part about this game is how uh, little bits, like getting your dart monkey at the 6 second mark, whatever, leading you to getting your banana farm late, which means you just barely short of getting a triple dart on a 4. I love the little, just a small tiny outplays you can do on your opponent that eventually will lead you to winning in the, uh, in the late game. Like, $20 could be all it takes to just get a huge farm lead. I think that was the best part about battles. Now you just press your super eco boost button around 5 and really any difference is just negated because you have so much money, you have so much more money to play around with, and every tower just becomes so strong when you pair it with other tower or power boosts. It's it's insane. I, I this game, if it doesn't end round thirteen, or and, it, and if I don't bring Cobra, the game would just go guaranteed late game at this point. There's like nothing much you can do. Even you know I've been trying to have a better time going some more obscure loadouts, and. It's just incredibly unsuccessful because you know that people that know what they're doing, people that play heli farm whatever, people that play dart farm whatever, people that play dartling, buccaneer, all banana farm just in general, you know that if they're half decent you just don't stand a chance anymore because there's no opportunity to outplay people anymore because they can just press a couple buttons. I suppose I could just play f like the the tier zero arenas, BFB Coliseum, like with only normal tower boost, normal lumen boost, normal rod spikes. But I don't want to do that because technically, you know, that's a club arena. That's not what NK thinks the official mode is. The official mode, according to Ninja Kiwi, is the one that you can play in assault mode. Is the one that every comp can play, and that mode includes powers. It's in car battles and it's in defense mode. And I think it says a lot that the 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 main how do I say this the uh, the main mode in battles is the one that I feel like people enjoy the least. Like there doesn't go a day by where I don't see on YouTube, there I don't see on Discord that people don't tell me in voice chat or I just have an idea of crossing my mind that. Power has just ruined the game. Like, people constantly complain about it. And I don't want to play tier 0 boosts only, like, all the time. That gets really boring. And, you know, by the complete lack of updates we've been having lately, because I don't count Professor Evil, because, honestly, I can't be bothered sitting there, just being basically idle for 7 minutes, following a tutorial to get 1,000 medallions. That's not fun for me. Fun for me in this game uh, comes from going to high arenas and just trying to, to win while at the same time trying very hard. And I must say, I need to try very hard to have a good time. Because I know that if I don't try my absolute hardest, I will get my ass clapped. Because in terms of where I am on the player base, I'm fairly certain I'm like halfway. Like I'm relatively decent. I know that. But... If I go into a Moab pit, half the people there are just... You just completely roll over them. They're like people that come from CC with a couple extra medallions. And then the other the 45% of them are actually like okay players. And then the 5% are just people that I couldn't be bothered beating anyways. If I want to play... If I want to try my ass every single game, I join competitive. Which I don't think is a good way to play the game. You can't have people trying to enjoy the game if your main mode, which is designed 
for casual players that just want to play like one or two games a day. They just want to log on and try and have a good time. They can't because they just get completely ruined by powers. And if they get completely ruined by powers, who in their right might want to buy club access to get into high arenas to possibly have a better time there? It's not going to happen. And I feel like that does reflect in the player base. It's been slowly dwindling ever since Powers came out because it's just not it's not a game that you can just pick up and start playing anymore. Before the only grant you had to go through was unlocking all the towers and honestly that took you maybe I don't know 20 games at best. I can't remember. It's it's not that bad because at least it was an equal playing field if you go into assault mode. You know people will also have um maximum of tier 2 towers but now if I go look into assault mode there's people running around using salt they're just grinding out powers because they know they have to and they're just ruining the fun for everybody <clears throat> excuse me um and honestly the fact that this game is becoming less and less fun like it's a beautiful transition into the fact that I think the entire battles content creator scene on YouTube, on whatever, I don't know if there's any other sites, on Discord, it's becoming just more of the same. It's becoming so incredibly stale that, you know, if you don't want to play battles, or if you don't want to watch battles content, you're, you're looking for something something in terms of variety, there's just nothing to, to obtain there. It's all people that are just doing live commentaries, or people that are doing just sped up music with gameplay, or if you're very lucky, you find, I guess, my channel, which, I mean, I don't think the quality of it is that great, but, like, I feel like I put in a decent amount of effort. But seeing that people enjoy my live stream more than they actually watch the Balloon Trap and you or video, like, the guide stands, it kind of hurts because it makes me feel like, you know, Battles content will never change either. People are just so used to having, you know, just they're getting spoon fed exactly what they want. They want to watch a battles content creator. They just search it up. They find Baltrix life commentating, which with like the most fake personality I've ever seen. All Baltrix used to be this guy that was like pretty good. He was like something I well respected, something that someone that I, you know, I looked up to because he was really fun to watch. He didn't seem to be too kid friendly. But when I go and check Boltrex out now, it's just more of the same. He's like over energetic. I don't know if he even wants to play the game anymore. It surely doesn't. It's, it comes off as very forced. It, every single YouTuber that in battles has made it big. And under the ethos, I'm counting Boltrex, I'm counting Trippy Pepper, and I'm going to start counting Alukian soon. Although Alukian is the exception, because I've spoken to him, and he is genuinely just that excited and happy about everything they're all falling they're all following into molts and master of footsteps they're all just becoming these shells of their former you know their former being just to attract some kind of relevancy just some kind of anything to keep their channel from dying because battles is dying and in turn that just makes the entire battles content scene very stale everything is the same and nothing is interesting but people don't care. They just want more. You know? Why, why would anyone want to make anything creative in this scenario? I don't want to make videos anymore just because I see what people like. And if I look at my analytics, I can see that people care more about live streams than they do about you know, videos that I put maybe tens, sometimes even up to 30 hours of effort in. People don't care. That's not what they're used to. They're just going to keep wanting more of the same. And after all that, what's left? You have the quote unquote bigger content creators or the content creators on the rise that are all really just trying. People like Zigzag Power, who as a person, I like I enjoy him very much. He's a great friend. But as a content creator, as Asian Sensation as a content creator. I don't know, Kevin Gaming, Brian Chess. They're all just 
competitive players. And I say that in heavy quotation marks. Because this game doesn't have a competitive mode. It's just more fan-made stuff. Everything in this game is fan-made. If, if, if I look at their channels... Honestly, if I closed my eyes... Or if I just grabbed basically a transcript... A transcript... I don't know who the fuck is talking. Because they're all the same. There's nothing they do to differentiate themselves. They use the same background music for God's sake. How does anyone find this entertaining? And I'm not being salty. I'm just fucking sad that it's come to this. Because I've been playing Battles for 5 years. I discovered this game when Sunday uploaded a video on it. I th ba I basically grew up with this game. And to see it come to the state where it is right now. Just... It makes me so upset. Because I know it can be much better. The Golden Age of Battles, which I think that was around 2016-2017 when Tyler, uh, Icehab, Bob, uh, Bruno and Loki, Blaze even, Fanel, Super John Bombo, everybody, they were all like on the rise. They felt like they were putting in lots of effort. They wanted to improve. They wanted to make the best content possible because they knew Oh, this game is quite small, but maybe someday I'll make it big. Now people, like Aluki himself, admitted to me in DMs that this game is dying. And why would you want to try then anymore? There's nothing left in this game to do. Everything's been done to death. The fact that we have to speedrun Professor Evil to get some sort of interesting content, to get something new. It's sad. I think it's really upsetting. <laughs> NK needs to do... I don't know, they need to do something from both a balancing perspective. They need to do something from a content creator's perspective. They need to have more community interaction. They need to host tournaments. They need to do this. They need to do that. When's the ice season coming out? Genuinely. Tournaments were added two years ago, I think. When's the ice season coming? It still hasn't happened. If you want to know if someone is a cheater or not... It's, you just look at their account, because if they have the ice batch, that's your answer. It's... NK doesn't do anything, it feels like. Like, there's been two weeks between them working on battles, and the, the length between updates is becoming longer and longer, and the t player base just keeps going down and down, and it's discouraging, and it's boring, and I have to force myself to play this game, because I know that if I log on, and I don't try very, very hard. And even if I do try very, very hard, I know that the chances of me losing are far greater than the chances of me actually having a good time. I just go into battles and I feel like a clown because every single time I open this game after closing it in just a fit of basic rage because someone used boring powers on me, I got outplayed. I open the game again expecting something to change, but it never changes. And I don't know if that's a me problem. I don't know if people, if other people have the same problem as me. If other people are in, thinking they're having the time of their lives in this game. But just from a pure perspective out of the company, they can't they see that the player base is just going down? I don't understand. It's really, really, I don't know what they're doing over there. They're adding these dumb updates. They're not balancing correctly. They're not interacting with the community. They're not hosting more tournaments. Like, we have to do everything ourselves as a community. There's balancing what's going around. There's been consistent tournaments going around. Nothing there is just endorsed by Ninja Kiwi. It's just all us. And I think that makes the future of battles and especially battles content and my battles content looks it looks very grim because i don't know how much longer i can keep going with this if people you know they refuse to try new styles of video they just want to conform they just want to watch their basic commentaries their live streams battles youtubers don't want to improve because they know that they're set if they just keep pumping out the same type of video every single day it doesn't take much effort, guys, come on. You open OBS and you just sit there waffling about a game for 20 minutes and you've made my a week worth of income. Don't you just want something better? Is that all you're going to try and do? 
I don't know, honestly. I'll be honest, this YouTube channel, like my entire YouTube channel, I wanted to become like a big battles YouTuber. Not because I like fame or I like money, but because I wanted to show people that if you put in effort and have passion for what you do, you can actually get quite far, even in such a small game. But seeing people care more about live streaming, people care more about, you know, nothing basically changing. No, none of my subscribers or none of the views that I get on videos, they, nobody sticks around. Which sounds very pathetic, but it's just the truth. Like, people just don't care. They'll watch the same old, same old content. They'll just do, play the same old, same old games and just confirm and they get used to it. And I am exactly the same. I too will just sit there and play battles for like another hour, even though I know I'm not having good time. And then when I go to bed, I put on an Asian sensation video before sleeping because daily uploads. You know, I might as well. Like, what am I going to do? I know, like, the content it's of a certain standard, not an especially high one, but it's something that I can just watch and completely zone out to. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just think that, you know, I want to see better. Like, it, it doesn't matter where. I mean, better, better battles content, better communication from developers, better, I don't know, better anything. Anything would be better than just continuous me mediocrity. It's just bad. <laughs> this video is really pushing it. I can't. I don't have a script for this. I've just been waffling for 22 minutes. Uh, I think. You know, if I continue for another hour, I'll still have stuff to say. That's just how bad it is. So, you know, maybe I'll end it here. Who knows?